Thanks, Bailey. So let me share my screen here. So hi, everyone. Welcome to AI Robots. So we're here. Uh, we're going to show you a free open source web tool that we built for integrating vision recognition and other AI capabilities into Microbit. So Brenda and Reed are going to show you some projects. We're writing a book uh, that's going to be published in the summer by Make called AI Robots. So it all starts here at the Google Teachable Machine website. We're not going to go through the entire specifics of the website, but it's a massive time saver and quickly to make quickly and easy to use TensorFlow files for implementing AI to your web projects. The specific project is using the Pose recognition software to look at the body positions and movements. All of our classes are set up with packed data sets that we're going to use to activate our servos. Click train and wait for it to process. Then we can play around and test our AI, AI to make sure it's accurate enough for our project. When we're happy, we simply save the model to the cloud and copy the link it gives us. This link will be really important in the future. When we're done, we can head over to the Microbit Makeco website and use some blocky code to give some meaning to these classes. Thanks, Brenda. Uh, since this code uh, uses uh, this uses a web USB connection to talk to the AI website we made, uh, we need to set up a few lines of code in order to open up that connection and store whatever information is sent over this line, as you can see on the screen here. Uh, we actually keep this as a downloadable file handy as a handy reference on our website. Uh, but after that, it's just a matter of setting up some if statements that are activated by the classes you made in the Google site. Uh, see here in the video, we're just adding in some commands to activate some servos that are going to activate the Shield project. And the beauty of this is that it's so simple that you can add new classes to essentially create thousands of new, new unique inputs that bring your microbits projects to life. You're really just limited by pins and your imagination and how much you want to train your AI. Definitely. But getting back to the process, when the code is finished, we just simply upload it to the microbit and all the hard work is done. Uh, the final step just takes us to the website where you can enjoy the fruits of your labor and marry the teachable machine to our code, as you can see in the video. We just need to, uh, to enter in the address we get from step one, and after that, a few moments, you can see your project pop to life. You can see that it was um, responsive to our movements without actually pressing a button. Here's an example project that we have made recently. You can speak on that. Uh, yeah, that's just it's just a uh, simple like ski ball type machine that is activated by a coin counter. Uh, you can see the AI here is looking for a quarter, and when it sees a quarter, it activates the rest of the machine, um, allowing you to to play the game. So it actually locks you out when you're not playing. Or you can make a really useful application. Uh, check out this project made from Eric Thornson from Strawberries in Sweden. He's made a robot that can store color balls. Uh, and beyond the copious amount of parts from his fantastic learning tool at Strawbees, he's using only two server motors to move the balls and push them to the proper paths. This tool is really just a great way to add purpose or emotion to your creations as well. Uh, like create a muscle man here or a robot that can tell you what food is good, like cheese there. <laughs> or there's even, uh, as you'll see in a second here, uh, we've created, uh, Strawbees has created a little robot that can play peekaboo with you or keep you entertain for hours just by checking uh, the facial recognition patterns. Uh, my favorite, though, is the one you'll see in just a second here. Um, I've created a little living owl type creature um, who I've actually named Archimedes. Let's see in just a second. There he is, uh, who's actually able to follow you around the screen based on your simple location, just based on a left, center and right. And then I've also added in a couple more things to make it more lifelike, like uh, servos connected by linkages on the back to kind of give it that personal feeling. Um, and then if you're really just looking for a fun exhibit, this is something that was created uh, by one of our associates, uh, Jun Havi, um, and he built this amazing self-sufficient roller coaster that you can place, that can place the carts back on, or the balls back on the cart. And here's the uh, example that go to class training an AI to recognize their stuffies and answer questions like which one is its birthday and then activate a thumbs up, thumbs down. So having this kind of uh, project that's connected to what they want to do and things that are important to them really make it a great entry point for AI, for understanding how AI works. So if you think this is interesting, check out the tool, 
talk to us. We run free play in ours for other educators experiment. And also we collaborate on grant proposals and on uh, staff development and trainings. And of course, stay tuned for our book. We're gonna release it, Creative Commons for Educators, as well as being published by Make. Thanks everybody.